Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. There is a a term that's been attributed to me over the years that uh, says, if I'm not bitching, I'm not breathing. It's really amazing to have a bitch instantaneously it has nothing to do with anything I prepared for coming in but the moment you started the music I leaned over to the printer and one of Michael's gifts to my wife yeah after her first printer debacle where she couldn't seem to get it running and I just gave up on it mm-hmm. uh, from her phone was uh, for Christmas she got a uh, discount printer from uh, the buy of best that we just picked up. You can uh, get a printer afternoon. very cheap. It's the ink where they get you. But if the printer itself, you can pick up cheaply. It's come a long way. It has. So we, I installed it uh, a few weeks back after Christmas. And uh, I just don't understand why. I just don't understand why mm-hmm. I am still seeing her stuff on my computer. Oh, uh, printer. It's, she's still printer. using your printer even though <clears throat> she can't? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know did you, why. Did you cheap out and get her like a bubble jet? What'd you get her? No, I got her got, got her a decent HP. Laser? Like a mini ver- looks like, yeah, looks like a mini version of what I have. Hmm. Did you shake and the cartridge? Like, <laughs> Stop it. Maybe she ran out of ink. Yeah, maybe. maybe she needs to shake it one time for me. Shake it one time <laughs> for me like Jerry Lee. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show. Our cities this week are Oatmeal, Texas. What happened to the music? Hey, well, I thought we were past this. this. I, no, Mike, no, I don't need it. No, no, take it away now. Don't that doesn't work. Please, I like our new music. I do too. I love yeah, it. I enjoyed it. Micro, uh, North Carolina, Logan, Ohio, Stillwater, Oklahoma, uh, Tucumcari, New Mexico, and Via de Merlot, San Luis, Argentina. Do I pronounce that correctly? Oscar? Argentina, Argentina, and is it Via de Merlot? Via de uh, Merlot. Merlo. Merlo. Okay. Now, does right. Argentina, because argent in French yes. means money, does Argentina have anything to do with money, the name Argentina? Argentina? No, I would not. I don't know that much. Okay. Not that don't much. cry yeah. for me. I, I do have a funny uh, anecdote. Kids now are having birthday parties in, in Argentina <gasps> that mimic Messi's celebration to holding La Copa That's de Oro. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, but but they're doing instead of like the pyrotechnics. Yeah, they're doing those like silly little silly straws. Oh, the shooter thing. Yeah, so yeah the, the poppers. birthday boy yeah, or the birthday girl I, walk up I'm and they so do that. I'm so happy, and they yeah. won a they won a Golden Globe the other night, and they the the, the Argentinian the, people <laughs> the know Argentinian how to people. Yes, the entire country celebrate. won a Golden Globe. <laughs> the world, no, the, Cup the people. Uh, there was a, the there was a Globes. foreign film yeah. oh, okay. nominated in Argentina one, yeah. and the foreign film's uh, accessible. It's called 1985. I might check it out. You know, my movie tastes are, uh, well, I had a guilty pleasure last night that Carla mocked me on, and rightly so. Uh, But you know what? Sometimes they deliver, and man, I wish I knew what the budget was. It had to be cheap. It's wide, so you can get it on Netflix. It's right up there. It's right up there with the popular ones. It's called uh, House of Darkness, which uh, when you got graphics that look like what was the TV show? Oh, Dark Shadows. You know what? From it's the exactly 1970s. It's sort of that gothic looking, just classic you know, horror font. Absolutely oh. cheap in it. I out, saw Shannon know? watching this. <laughs> Shannon watched this? Does Shannon yeah, like horror movies? Well, she she likes anything. Um, she's like a cat. Uh, she she'll likes, watch anything. She's like, like a six year old. Justin like Long. Just, yeah, I like reckon I was like, oh. Oh, I love like Justin Long. Long. Yeah. He's very yeah, agreeable. But Justin Long is at his Justin Longiest. In this, and Justin Long, you know, you can be an over actor uh, and be a mellow over actor. He's a mellow over actor. It was pretty funny to watch uh, Justin Long. Well, everyone's got their guilty pleasures, Mike. You know, Fox has brought back their reboot of Fantasy Island. Yeah, well, but this movie is what you'd expect House of Darkness, horror movie, whatever. And a horror movie that combines two of my favorite things in a horror movie sex and graphic, uh, horrible. you know who's the scary dismemberment is it it's not a monster movie is it a slasher movie oh it's a monster movie it's a monster right. movie but it uh, but you won't know it's a monster movie until a monster i'm not gonna give the spoiler yeah, yeah, i'm not what? giving you a spoiler don't worry about it go go out and enjoy yourself I, it's my guilty pleasure and very very attractive women in it and but you know from like the minute 
the movie starts, the guy's dead. You know he is. There's just no way he can't be. You I, know? I don't want Undead, Mike. to complain right. too yeah. much, but we never discussed or even, I think we might be on the same page as Yellowstone. Uh, cutting yeah, their, cutting and, yeah, their season and a lot of people wanted us to talk about this, yes. and I don't mind talking about that uh, at the beginning. Yeah, there has been a blowback on Yellowstone, and I liked the show so much that I probably didn't think about it until I read. That's what negative press is, though. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. That's why it's such cancer. That's why it's so dangerous, because somebody starts, and then you think some negative Nelly out there- mm-hmm. They plant the uh, seed. Throws a dart. Probably throws a little- Throws a knife Hollywood at the show. The Hollywood They found out he wasn't coming. Uh, well, he would have been there. I think it was minutes. I don't maybe, think he'd be there. Maybe hours that he asked it. They asked oh, him to shelter in God, place. Thank God, Mother Nature. I can now shelter in place. Oscar, they, they asked me to shelter in place. The governor doesn't Santa go to Barbara. award shows. He doesn't do it. You know, he probably could have saved his house with a trench. What he needed to do was dig. Please refer to me as Governor Dutton. Governor <laughs> Dutton. Yes. Why did this season cut? Well, why was it cut in half by the network? Well, first of all, the last thing I need is another award. <laughs> by the way, why is uh, why is Kevin Costner morphed into Harrison Ford? You have you been know? working on that. I know I haven't. You I haven't. Just, uh, probably when I watch it, you know. But it's always. It's look. There are two words that were given to Yellowstone that I agree with. Okay, uh, travel log. Absolutely, I call them music videos. You can call it a travel log. It's okay. We get it. The scenery, you're saddling beautiful. the horses. We get it. Yeah. You're, ra- you're rounding up yeah. the cattle. You're getting up early men's in the morning. Men. You're putting the cattle. Well, there's Tater, who I love, oh, who should be on the show more. And you're rounding she them up, ra- and you're putting in the. And it really was uh, a little bit much because it was like too much. Okay, we get it. Now how about a little entry? You got this natural resource uh, that's, I think her name is Kelly Riley. I think it is, maybe, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure. The the Beth Dutton character. Yeah. Yes. I hope I didn't get her name wrong. I'm I really, really pissed you know, me off if seconds. I do that. But Beth Dutton is is wonderful. And you're you're doing these preachy moments. And underutilizing these great characters. You got wonderful actors. Use them. Enough of your horses. Jesus Christ. I don't need to see that again. So when somebody wrote that, said it's a travel log and it's too preachy, I get it because it's like all this philosophy. Well, you shouldn't be doling out Kelly that much Riley. philosophy. Kelly yeah, Riley. You got it. Kelly, beautiful, wonder, uh, just the, the bad girl. Absolute bad girl. So uh, for those of you that don't follow the television program, Yellowstone, we do. We love it. Uh, it is season five in two parts, which is a problem right there, right? Yeah, Especially I mean, when the guy's January. going off, and the guy's going off, and he's doing fifteen other shows. Yeah. That's he, the summer. Problem. He, he says has, summer. He yeah. said some, The second half of season five, summer twenty twenty three. I think he's mm-hmm. that template was invented by the Sopranos, where they would break up yeah. the season because it's easier on everybody. But you know, right. to, you about, you owe it to the the viewer. Don't get full of yourself. Right. Yeah, we can well, walk away. What it is, you know what I think it is, and I'll, in fairness to uh, Taylor Sheridan with his show, I don't know anything about Hollywood. I'd love to get some of these people on the show, Me but either. we, we, you know, we've tried and it just any, mm-hmm. any guests coming up anytime soon. I hate to. We Bobby have we have the uh, meteorologist coming up in the next uh, week or so that uh, was a storm chaser, which I'm looking okay. forward to speaking right, to. That's him. the talking head, or is no, that, no, that's uh, a, that's yeah. a real guy, a yeah. storm chaser. Okay, yeah. that's great. That's fine. That's our. We'll that's take our it. Well, that's us. Mm-hmm. That's reality, us. We like that. We like, we'll, we'll take TV. anybody. Yes. We'll mm-hmm. take anybody. If you know of anybody that, you know, yeah. you're a buddy. My cousin's got a yeah. friend who's got a cousin who's a friend. And uh, and by by the way, and I know Oscar will like this, more and more podcasters yeah. are doing this, what we do. You so got pimple poppers uh, in your family, and they're famous. Bring them over. <laughs> do they, really do they have to be that. a medical doctor, pimple popper, or no, just a no. hobbyist? Or no, but I wouldn't uh, mind talking. Wax candle maker? Oh, that's a, that's you know, Rob, I wouldn't mind talking to a TV critic. Yeah, uh, that has opinions on these shows that we love. All right. There aren't many shows like Yellowstone that become at least a tiny part of our national consciousness where, you know, when they used to have three networks, everybody would watch the same show and we'd know all about it's it. It's hard but for getting, something to be a unifier anymore. Yeah, it just. but Yellowstone would be as close as we've yeah. got Mike. now. And when they said it, jumped the shark a bit, I concurred yeah. to a degree. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Yes, Oscar. Okay, F. Mary Kill, this is going to be tough. We haven't done one of these in a while. Okay. All right. It's going to be the actor who plays Rip Wheeler, the actor oh. who plays Casey Dutton, or the actor who plays John Dutton, which is Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, and Cole Hauser, respectively. Respectively. Uh, Mary 
John Dutton. Kevin Costner. Mm-hmm. F. Rip Wheeler in a heartbeat. I'd let him take me right now. Oh, dear. And, uh, and kill Casey. I just, uh, and just, you know, if you can't grow a beard, don't try to grow a beard. That's what I've always He's said. too pretty for you? Uh, no. I think Rip Wheeler's my kind of pretty. That's my kind of man right there. You know? um, How you doing? Can I wash your back for you? <laughs> Maybe I was a little too enthusiastic sure. about it. You definitely love, had an answer. I love Cole Hauser. Yeah. I do. I love you Cole Hauser. Me come, look at my, come look at my I, horse. No, <laughs> smile, Rob. It's just gorgeous. Okay. I'd, it's dreamy. I'd marry Rip. Okay, yeah, because Rip's so good. I would, and, and we're talking about the characters now, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I would... I'd have to I'd have to kill John Dutton. Oh, God, I knew. And you'd F Casey. Yeah. Yeah, your type. You. Anyway, uh, that does. But can I tell you why I'd marry Rip? <laughs> why would you marry Rip? Stability? Well, Cole Hauser also played a villain in one of the Fast and the Furious movies. You see, that's that you're not doing it then because you're talking about but the that's character. But do it anyway. He so wants. I would talk to anyway, Rip about moves horses yeah. and horsepower. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. But you're cheating How about still. You? Do you watch the show or is it I've watched the show, black yeah. and white? Do you watch it? Yeah, I watch it. I, okay. Carrie, Carrie is more into it than me, and she agrees with you. She says this season is Anybody's sucked. into anything that's color more than you because you don't like new stuff by by its nature. I watched I mean, a new it, movie last night. Was it a new movie about an old subject? No, it was a uh, it was a rom com on I believe Amazon. It was the it was so bad I couldn't turn it off. It was really yeah. It was Emma Roberts. You know the, uh, I guess the niece of Julia Roberts, mm-hmm. and it was about star-crossed lovers who uh, ended up together. Spoiler alert! And it was what just. What was the name of the movie? I'll find it for you. I, it I'm was, looking. Uh, it made it, such an impression. It, on you, Mike, it was title. it was horrible, and okay. it was it was it was the top recommended thing on Amazon Prime, and right. I said. Oh, if it's the top rendement, this is what they're this is what they're shilling. This has got to be good. And Carrie and I are watching it, and Carrie has watched so many Hallmark shows. She's saying they're going to break up, they're going to end up together. <laughs> yeah, that's the mother. Formula. That, yeah, it's so formulaic. About, you should have watched House fate? of Darkness. Yeah, about fate. Yeah. About fate. That was what it was. It is yeah. so bad. Looks it's terrible. almost worth it. But I so would marry. Good. I would marry Kevin Costner. Yeah, and I would. Uh, I just because ki- of the star power, right? Boo. Well, no stability. Stability, but really not stability. He could lose the ranch, yeah. Rob. And he, he's all he's already in he's been in debt the entire time. Yeah, but the once ranch. you're governor, you've always got a career. You've yeah. always got so a career. So you'd be his first lady. Yeah, I would be his first lady. The first lady of Montana, me. Uh, I but, can see you. Yeah. Rob comes out. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Rob was the first lady of yeah. Montana. I can see it. Now let's bring out the first lady. <laughs> and you hear the cling, cling, cling yeah. of yeah. the spurs, the big, shiny, oversized mm-hmm. Pee Wee Herman spurs. And then the, from around the corner, beaded chaps yes. come around. And then Rob's got the ornate Western shirt with a 10 gallon. He would be a great cook on the ranch. <laughs> yes. When yeah, I would. Coming, when they're coming back. From, the, you, know, my, you would hear the clink of the spurs followed by the rattle of the jewelry. <laughs> rhinestone cowboy exactly you can uh precisely you can cook in bulk right of course are you, you kidding can. what do you think All the right, fruitcakes so are you marry john dutton yes i'd kill rip why you kill rip yeah he's a threat to me his masculinity is a threat to me <laughs> really yeah it's too much i can't tea. take it too much high tea yes and then i, yeah, I as, that, as, that, as, but but that might be a perfect arrangement for you as yeah, you want to be dominated. As, as Oscar says, he has a lot going on. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. Rip. I'm Rob. Your, egg, yeah. your, eggs, your eggs are ready. Take off those spurs. <laughs> I've been up since 3 a.m. And then, and, by process of elimination, make mad, passionate love to Casey. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope the summer uh, brings us more. It's probably already in the can, but I hope it brings us a little more fun and more thrills. Well, I haven't, shot any, I haven't shot any of my scenes yet. <laughs> I know. Well, they're still they're still needling the costume. <laughs> so much, so much needle work. Sewing the sequins on the. Uh, he's the closer pants. to being on that show than we are. He's been on HBO. He's been on HBO. He yes, has indeed. Now, oh, yes. you mean the project I did with Judd Apatow? Yes, yes, of course. I've been on CNN. This is true, and you've you've also done several situation comedies. You have. I've You're a network done, star. <laughs> done several situation. You have. Uh, the dream, I, I'll share it with you before we get to the big story of the day, mm-hmm. which is a big story. Uh, I have to tell you, my dream, my dream, and I'm 63, I'm not at the end of the rodeo yet, 
I'm still very happy doing what I do every day to come in here and flap my gums with you folks. Enjoy it. Enjoy the passion we have in our audience for the show. I'm going to tell you this. My dream, 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 dream is that I watch a lot of content and I always, uh, maybe every third, fourth show, I'll say, oh my God, Catherine would be perfect for that. Catherine yeah. would be perfect. My daughter, who is 27, uh, is... It's amazing. Uh, you know, could play anywhere from probably 17 on up. She's that young looking. She just looks young. She's she's small and she's young looking. And so when I put her into these different roles and I was talking to her uh, about the uh, terrible situation out in California, seeing if she was okay. I talked about that yesterday. Uh, I just, a dream would be, honey, you, you get on the, the, you get that commercial audition. She's got an audition this week. I forgot what it was for, but it was something significant. Uh, and she gets her role. Then she gets, uh, you know, she strikes the lightning. Mm. The lightning strikes her, and then ah, I think I'll bring my dad in for a cameo, and uh, and we do a project together. Where it was, it was so, Mike, role. it was so noble until that last sentence. No, I'm an actor. I'm in the Screen Actors yeah, Guild. How are you shocked? I'm not shocked. I'm just saying it was. Very noble. You want the same thing? I would. I would. Kid. Well, what I would prefer is one of my kids learn how to play piano so I could sing. I have a. I just want to have a. Kid. I have a son that's chugging along. Mm. Silent Night will be performed at the uh, recital. The other, and by the way, to my kids' piano uh, school down there, in, right here in uh, Great Fort Myers. Good move, beautiful move. Uh, having that recital end of January, as opposed to right around the holidays. Perfect. People don't have any time to do anything. Yeah, I love you guys for doing that. Yeah, it's super smart. And thank you. That's what I wanted to say. Who has the time? Who has the time what around the holidays? I think it's a Sunday afternoon before the Super Bowl weekend. It's perfect. Couldn't be more perfect. It would thank be you great very much. if we could all just move our own holidays independently within our own families. So I think wouldn't like be we as do crazy. them when we wanted to do when them. When we want to do them. Uh, that's not the big story that I've been referring to because I have to share this with you. All right. And okay. I have to uh, tell you, uh, yesterday, if you heard me talking about Miles the Fish, yes. uh, during the discussion, two things were happening, all right? And uh, I'm not going to slam Rob because his job is to be funny, mm -hmm. uh, but two things were happening. Rob Spiewak was just throwing out lines as fast as his little oversized brain could. And when I say little oversized, it might sound like a contradiction, but it's absolutely true when it applies to him. It's a little oversized brain. That's how mm -hmm. it works. And Rob's doing patter. Oscar is uh, diving into his computer a little bit as we're having this discussion mm -hmm. about Miles and that he's about, he's going to buy the beta farm. beta fish is on its his way out. beta yeah. fish is down at the bottom of the tank, hardly moving. Uh, I he go was to by the shrub, Mike. He was by the shrub, and I went to flush him, and uh, he jumped up and said, no, I'm not going. Mm -hmm. I said, all right. Then, right towards the end of the show, Oscar uh, says, well, they have these beta fish first aid kits that you can get, and sends me the link, and yeah, the first thing I think they tell you is that you can't find this in a pet store, but you can find it online. Well, that's uh, time, time is of the essence. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've made me late already. Time <laughs> is of the essence. So... <laughs> At the conclusion of the broadcast, I go check on Miles to see if he's even still alive, yeah. and he's bloated, and Aww. he's lethargic, and he's just sitting at the bottom of this one spot in the, the tank. sod. Yeah. So I go out to the local pet store, and I said, do you have what might be referred to as a beta fish first aid kit? And uh, the young lady at the store, sweet, cute young girl who says... I don't know that much about fish, but she, and she points to another girl, another young girl in the corner of the store and said, but she knows everything look, about look, fish. Look, she looks like a troll, smells. And I'm going to, yeah. Oh, is she a mermaid? <laughs> Please. I really, I can't tell you how much I didn't want to do that, all right? Because I just wanted to be positive, okay. all right? I really Sorry. wanted to be Good. positive. So this young lady comes over to me, and I've gotten this, and I'm going to give the chain a plug. I've gotten this at that big PetSmart chain on a number of occasions where somebody in there has their act I'm together. Smart. Yes, they are. That's right? a, you know what it is, Mike? It's a good outfit. It's <laughs> Shut up. It is. I know. It's where Linus has dripping. always had his... No, that's where Linus... Yeah. They, they have a, a pet care clinic in my PetSmart. They are good at what yep. they do. They are. And I've had it happen before, and that's why I say that. So this lady says, well, how old is he? And uh, I said, he's three, three years old. And she's like, she gives me that. Oh, I said, boy, what? Wow. End, of, end of the life? Yeah. That, I mean, that's a, that's a long, that's a long mm. run for a beta fish. But 
I don't know why I've become obsessed with this, but I have. I took this job over about a year into the run where uh, it was a tank cleaning. And the tank cleaning's been problematic, and I thought the tardiness of tank cleaning might be the reason the betta fish was in the Is it a tank or a bowl? It's a tank. A tank. How big is the tank? It's a one-gallon tank. Oh, one-gallon tank. Okay. And I'm told that, uh, you know, you want a bigger tank, but but there there are only so many pets. I've got a a a massive uh, terrarium for the snake. And there's also, you know, a water shortage. You don't want to, you know, waste water. One gallon right, is now about see, right. Now is this you're lady doing it again. trying you're to upsell it. you? I was, I was. No, no, mm-hmm. she's uh, quite the opposite. She said, I don't think we have anything of that kind. Uh, let me look over here. Uh-huh. And she uh, walks over. And in the meantime, I'm going on another one of the racks, and I'm looking at the uh, water treatment mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. and this and that she, yeah. and food and what they have. And then she comes over, and she hands me a box, and it is a medication box, something like the Cure, Beta Fish Cure, uh, something like that. And on the side, I read all the conditions, and I'm like, worth a shot. Worth Why a shot. not? Yeah. Yeah. Back into the car, zip right home, and it has these little packets, and these packets are uh, for 10-gallon tanks. You dump a packet into the 10-gallon yeah. okay. tank. So I uh, I said, obviously, I don't need that. She says, no, you'd kind of eyeball what you think is just a little bit of it, one-tenth of it. One-tenth. Uh, put it in there. So I go home. I immediately put the stuff right right in. I take out the carbon filter Great. that's in the uh, the filtering because they say do that mm-hmm. for 24 hours. Uh, get that done. And then- Do you uh, have to stir it or anything, or does it just dissolve it's on not its own? It, 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 well, it's got a regulator, so it uh, goes oh, through Oh, so, uh, okay, it's processing, right. Now, one of the things, uh, one, his only symptom that I could tell besides the lethargy was uh, he looked like his tummy was really yeah. bloated. Mm-hmm. And the thing they say, this is going to gross you out. Mm. The thing they say grosses, uh, the thing they say that gets these fish, tapeworm. Mm. Tapeworm. Man. And it and shows. I don't do anything egg. for food. <laughs> I can eat two dozen eggs, 36 right, pork chops. Thank you. Um, and so I put the, uh, the, the, the stuff in, and Three there seems issues. to be almost an immediate type of reaction where he's certainly aware of the substance itself. Wait, wait, you're saying you put the medicine in. Yes. And then and, and it's and he, he gets he gets agitated, he gets stirred up. He's like, whoa, 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 what's that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. What the hell? Maybe he thinks it's bad at first. But then back into the world of lethargy oh. where he's, oh, back he's to lying the down. Look, he looks like he's dead. Yeah. Because he's sitting at the bottom of this tank. Mm-hmm. And uh God, then they is say that you're you? supposed to go twenty <laughs> Swim into the light, Miles. Swim into the light. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a, I'm a beta fish. I am a little beta fish <laughs> sitting on the bottom of my tank. Uh, anyway, that's the that's the flying gemstones uh, or whatever. Righteous. Yeah. Righteous. <laughs> flying would be good, though. Thank you. So I, uh, I give them the stuff. I think 48 hours you're supposed to let this mm-hmm. uh, cycle or 24 hours. Uh, and we check on them periodically. Is, still- it for, is it like, do you suppose that one-tenth of the package is what, like a teaspoon? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I go two tenths. Yeah, I, all, I, 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 I yeah. balled it. I, I okay. wasn't, you know, that, time was of just, a fact. I understand. Like IV, if you don't have a full, like, you know, vessel, you just throw in. You half do what you can, right. exactly. Uh, so I, uh, you know, we go to bed last night, wake up first thing. I'm into it. So I, I check on them first thing this morning, take a look at them, and <laughs> swimming. Oh, hey! swimming oh, throughout yes! the tank. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Yes. That's fantastic. Do I know if he's going to... He still goes down to the bottom periodically to just sang, sort of hang out. But my son, my smart as a whip little son, said, Dad, uh, let me see let me see that package. And he's mm. talking about the medicine. Yeah. And he looks at it and says, Dad, he's past tapeworms. And I said, no, no. He said, look at the bottom. Wow. And sure enough, there are these little things that look like they could be tapeworms that the fish is pat. Yeah, it's nasty. How it's would he nasty, get a tapeworm na- in, in an isolated a burger? I don't in an know. isolated Maybe environment. The bacteria, who the hell knows what happened? The fish food. I don't yeah. know. I don't. It's bacteria. You know, these things start microscopically and they turn into bait. Then, right before he's going to school today, uh, we do a look at him, and Michael says, uh, "Dad, I think he's passing a tapeworm." Ah! Oh, no. Oh, this is God. fascinating. This, this is, is a this fish that's that big. Yeah, okay? tiny, yeah. tiny. And I'm looking at his butt. Yeah. I think it's his butt. Nice. I don't know where fish poop. <laughs> is, it, is it in the I'm rear a, or the front of the boat? It's the rear. It's okay, the rear no, of the I fish. I think it is his butt. And, 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 a, and Face a, down. A little squiggly <laughs> is coming out from behind him, and he's zipping around. It must be a phenomenal 
relief if you can see it. Yeah. He might. And look, I am cautiously optimistic. I don't know if this is going to be the permanent state of affairs, but to I said to Carla, and I'll say to you well, once again, the 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 great helper and behind the scenes, this guy does more than you'll ever know. Oscar, once again. There you were. Good for you. you. Did that little search? High five. I never saved, in a yeah, I never in a million years would have gone to the pet store and said, "Is there any?" I wouldn't have even processed medicine. I would have prepared the toilet for the Viking funeral. You know, you know what, I Mike? Mean, as an it. honor, you should save that tapeworm and give it to Oscar. I, I you know, right now I'm flying <laughs> uh, blind. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm improvising. Cautiously yeah. Optimistic. And I don't know whether it's 24. I think it's 24 hours. I got to give him a little more yeah. after the show. Another hit of this. Stuff. Don't overdo it. Um, Go yeah, don't. strictly no. by the instructions. Yeah. No, I'm going to do the tiny amount that I put in yesterday and that's it and see how it does. But something's coming out of that fish. Love it. And, and that's. And that's, it looks like the movie Tremors. Yeah. It does. <laughs> yeah. It does. It worked. <laughs> It worked. When was the last time you go? You went. It was. It was like twenty four bucks for this yeah. uh, little worth packets, it. These worth packets. it. I. I. And we woke up this morning. The whole house was a, was a titter with uh, <laughs> with this with Miles the fish. Wow. And well, I have no idea. I have no earthly idea why I was into so into this rescue mission. But I was. And uh, little things mean a lot. I think it's my meds. I think no, they, they no, me, I was uh, invested as well. I was really? too. We're yeah. in a different. Well, you want you're invested in getting a new model. Well, I, I was I was just uh, floating out ideas. No, you don't care. Uh, but I, that's all no, right. You see, I, Mike, that's it's not that that's I, a it's lie. Not that Oscar cares more than you. It's that Oscar just thinks differently than you. do. He does, and there's he no is one solution driven person. Where when something happens, you take your right hand and your left hand and you squarely put them under your butt and le- and just let the chips fall doesn't make you any less of a worker no. doesn't make you any you, less you of a person it just manner. that's the way you respond to uh you know to problems but i there is no one who loves pets more than me I love animals and the fact that you were able to do this is a major victory i right. yesterday would have put big money that this was a foregone conclusion. I Curtis. looked at the fish, and I didn't even show you guys the fish. I I would have told you that by the time the show was over, yeah, th- mm-hmm. this was going to be a, the little guy, the little tiny the bait of fish named will, Miles will mm-hmm. live. <laughs> will that's right? Because I asked the fish. I said, "How you doing down there?" And uh, he said, <laughs> "When I wrote the book, Will, I put my fin <laughs> over a flame." And told my friends the trick was not minding. That is an ancient <laughs> Gordon Liddy reference, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's what I. He do. was but mentioned was on just, Jeopardy last night, so it's not was so ancient. Really? Yes, isn't there a show coming out? There might be a, a Watergate show. Yeah, that it's, it's it's already been on, and that was what the uh, clue was regarding. There it is. Uh, but uh, the late uh, the late great Gordon Liddy, um, who we worked with as a disc jockey. Strange time. An amazing strange, historical strange footnote. Career. Yes. The show was called Gaslit. Yeah. Yeah, got nominated for yeah. a couple mm-hmm. of awards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Julia Roberts, right? Wasn't she in it? I believe, Maybe. yeah. I believe so. Okay. Uh, so the fish is, it's just kind of, you know, if you're trying to save something and you're it's a victory. logging your miles to go get there, I, I just, uh, I am, I'm hoping that a little uh, teeny, teeny splash of this stuff, uh, either today or tomorrow, will help. And now uh, it's also another positive from yesterday is uh, in the mail because they delivered it to me came my fat my fat meds oh yes. great uh, and went it right into the refrigerator uh, Love it. and uh, you know um we'll uh, see and i have a question I, I go about to the mail. Office, i go to the office today to get uh, stuck well you just i thought you just things. stick yourself at home well he has well, to probably you can, learn but then you don't uh, get the privilege of paying them uh, $500 uh, to uh, do this. No, I have a question about the mail. I mailed out all of my personal fruitcakes on December 20th or 21st, mm-hmm. and I just got an email from someone in Williamsburg who got their fruitcake yesterday, and I sent it priority mail. It's supposed mm. to be there on the 23rd. Did yours arrive in a timely manner? Uh, yeah, we've had ours. We, okay, uh, good, we gave good. one to our yeah. babysitter, yeah. and we ate one. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, the... The number went down. Last year we had three. Gave us three. I have one left. Would you like another? Uh, no, no, because I'm a. Uh, uh, I thought I did. I didn't. I didn't know over. I gave you three last year. I apologize. Hard to hard I think, to figure uh, it out. It, yeah, but I mean, when I when it, when yours came in for me, yes, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, I don't think it got out of the cardboard before it was in my mouth. <laughs>
Yeah. It was insane. It was I dove into it. I didn't put anything on it. I didn't. I just. I just attacked it, and then uh, Carla said, "Did the fruitcakes come?" Uh, yeah. You know, Carla, by you the said, way, could be in, fruit What fruit uh, Carla could be. If, if that fruitcake arrived, and I went and I put a fork into it, Carla could be in effing Tibet. <laughs> And call me on the phone and go, "What are you eating?" That's the way. Uh, that's the way she rolls. But uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, outside of uh, fainting, diarrhea, nausea, thyroid cancer, uh, there shouldn't be any uh, real problems. No tapeworms, though. You know, no tapeworms. They are not going to survive. But I'll let you know because uh, today's the day. Today's the day that I uh, get my stuff. So I'll let you know. And uh, you know, I had to go through a lot of hoops. By the way, I just fear Michael coming in the studio tomorrow and saying, look, Oscar, daddy's passing a tapeworm right now. Daddy's <laughs> neck is swollen. <laughs> oh, you um, looked at the, you looked at the I looked at side, the effects. side effects. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. knew that for my mom. That's why. I the, uh, if I come in tomorrow and I'm looking like Jackie Vernon, you'll know that there's a uh, uh, problem. Uh, Where is us the, going into the Holland Tunnel? <laughs> here I am coming out of the Holland Tunnel <laughs> with a, with a very thick neck. This is me on my vacation to a lake. This is me with a hook in my mouth. All right, anyway, so uh, that was Jackie. Jackie Vernon, for you kids out there, is a uh, deceased comedian who was the voice of Frosty the Snowman and a legendary stand-up yep. in New York whose famous bit, most famous bit, was he took a clicker out, just yep. a, little, uh, a little metal device that made a clicking sound, and he showed fake slides. So he would be looking you across never the saw, audience. You never saw the you slides. You never saw the slides, uh, but it was a great bit. Absolutely brilliant bit. Look and at it on he, YouTube. It's it's yeah, actually it's, pretty funny. It's very very good stuff. So I will uh, let you know how uh, how it works out tomorrow. Can you hear the guys in the garage that are not bad? No, right? no, 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 not but, really. But it could get yeah. worse. Not you really. know, no, but I just I, the, the equipment we have. The I'm gating. Proud of this. Yeah, it's I really fantastic. Uh, we'll see what happens as we go forward on this journey. However, when I'm relaxing and I'm looking uh, at our bank account. Our depleted bank account. Yes. And I say to myself, where is the money gone? And the doctor now that I see to be able to have access that I pay more for, the weight loss place that I am paying more for, mm -hmm. the uh, to get the medication that my insurance company will not cover yeah. as I go to visit my uh, spine doctor, who is not, uh, it is not confirmed yet whether that will be covered. I say to myself, and I'm not going to exaggerate, folks, I say to myself, what am I paying $1,700 a month for? Mm. What am I paying insurance uh, that much money for? Almost, uh, you know, $28,000 yeah. uh, for insurance when it's deny, deny, deny. The game, by the way, to all the Republicans and the Democrats and every politician out there, uh, it's not working, whatever you're doing. And, uh, you know, I guess now I can only keep my fingers crossed and hope for 65. But when I'm saying, boy, uh, the GoFundMe page for Mike's medical insurance, uh, I was just said, when I have that thought, which I would never do, it's absolutely stunning to me how much comes out of our family budget uh, just to be covered. It's ridiculous. It's uh, you, it's nuts. You could look at the other side of that coin, Mike. Um, here, here comes Oscar, the brother of doctors, <laughs> Oscar Santana. Um, doctor's brother. I come from a medical family. Yeah, you uh, get to make a phone call to your brother. How many you hip wrong. surgeries have you had under your your plan in the last? Day? How many? How many uh, hip surgeries? Yes. Two. Oh, here we go. Can you hear that? Yeah, that I hear. That's that's probably just going to be temporary. We can live with it, yeah, though, right? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many okay. times have you been hospitalized for more than a day in the past decade? The past decade? Yes. Once. Once. The past two decades? Twice. Well, are you counting your surgeries or diverticulitis? No, it's surgeries were not uh, more than a week. And the diverticulitis yeah. day was 30 I said more than ago. a day. More than a day. Oh, more than a day? Yes. Uh, 53 times. No, no, no that I'm can't be right. I think you've bought into the system and you're milking it just fine. Oh, you are. I say to you, shame. Shame on you. Shame on you. I say this. Should there be a cost on just extending your life?
No, it's a, it's, no. it's it is a God given right. No, but I mean, right. you're making a joke, but it is it's absolutely true. true. Yeah. No, how much it do is you true. pay in a month, Skippy? Actually, it he is, wouldn't go. He probably got a discount. No, no, it's carried. I'm carried on a Carrie's plan, which is through the county. Oh, wow. government plans, yeah. the best. It's pretty good. Wow. The best. Good for you. Yeah, good yeah. for you. It's so well, good. The doctor both, said, if you want to drink, go ahead. Carl and I. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're both self-employed, so yeah, we, that's we get boned. Yeah. We get fully boned, and uh, and it's just a drag. Uh, but I am still chugging along, and I'll let you know how it works out tomorrow, because apparently at, uh, what's the name of the place? Uh, Fat Joe's. At Fat Joe's uh, oh. Weight Loss Clinic. Terror Squad. Um, I will, and that'll be the name of it now. You know, the first ones always work, don't <laughs> Fat they? Joe's, yes. Fat, Fat Joe's. So today I go. Do you get to meet Joe morning. today? <laughs> He's usually in the back counting his money. You know, it's just like, can't do it now. Doesn't uh, he? He looks did like. Did anybody get the Chick-fil-A? Does he look uh, like the old man in Pawn Stars? <laughs> I thought uh, Fat Joe was based out of New York City. <laughs> Fat Joe's uh, Health Clinic. Um, I'm going to go in today, and we're going to see what happens. Because not only am I getting the uh, the weight loss stuff, right? Uh, I'm getting another uh, like a Nick Nolte shot too. I think you know. Oh, vitamin like, give me, D, give me a B12 shot. B12, That's what I want. yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll feel <laughs> really the B12 shot. I've in one of my harebrain weight loss schemes. I did. They gave yeah. you B12 shots, and you feel great for about 75 minutes. But it's fast. It takes that fast. That sucks. Yeah, it does. That is so shitty. <laughs> Excuse my language that you're telling me that. But that it's is true. Such a drag. Do oh, you? Well, do you? F- yes. What's your anticipation for? Is it Monjero? I think it is. Yeah, I haven't okay. even opened the cardboard. I just put okay. it right there. Monjero. Monjero. I heard your your appetite should be curved. Curbed. Curbed. By. Like, if you take it today, it's this Thursday. Yeah. You should feel it by Saturday. Well, it's an injection, right? Well, yeah, but, I but the to, feeling of like I'm not hungry. This is oh, weird. it takes a while for it to manifest. Not okay. a while. Yeah, like two days. But that's still yeah, that's, that's amazing. Fast. I heard medicine. that about a half hour after you get injected, you just go into your car, sit down, and you think for a minute. <laughs> Saw that side effect: gas. <laughs> it's gas. It's heartburn. And then you look and you say, "Look, a tapeworm." <laughs> that's exciting. Uh, but we'll see what I'm happens. I'm excited for uh, you. You, you might well, don't feel bad. This you get the same side effect from eating sugarless taffy. <laughs> Very exciting. Hey, we'll take a break. Hey, yeah, that's right. Hey, we'll take a break and uh, come back with more. Sorry for the noise today. Nothing I can do about it. Sometimes you just gotta look to the guy in the eye. Said it is what it is. Just go excavate. Bye hey. bye. <laughs> oh, it's your paisan, Polly. I know it's been a long time since you heard from me. But the boss sent out a proclamation that we all have to listen to. Now, he wants you to share the show. That means let your friends tell their friends and their other friends that the Michael Mara Show is on the air. And they can go to TMOS.com to check out the bonus show. And they can go on the TikTok and the Instagram for snippets of the show. Do it today. The boss asks you. And let your friends be a friend of ours. Capiche, we now return you to the man, the myth, the legend, Mike O'Mara. Pauly, let me just tell you about Pauly Christine. I have to tell you that nobody that is a New Yorker enjoys being a New Yorker more than Pauly Christine. I just love his posts with his beautiful wife when they're heading out to great dinners in New York and they're going to see the last week of The Music Man on Broadway. And I just, it's that so... Man's living. I said to my wife, I said, this is yeah. a guy that lives in Brooklyn, and man, he does New York like like a tourist would do New York on their last weekend. He really shares it, and I just cool. love it. That's why he's got all the followers, and, yeah. and, and everybody's he's on everybody's feed because he's fun to do that. And, and Paulie, keep it up, man. You're great yeah. at it, and it makes me happy when You I left out that. a key element. The reason I played that promo... It's his birthday. Ooh. Is it his birthday today? It is his birthday today. Uh, well, Paulie, we're, we're <laughs> delighted to have you associated with our show. We know you're a radiophile, and you love this show, and you've been a supporter of ours for a long time. So happy birthday to you, and uh, enjoy. And the pictures of the restaurants and the so way great. the guy goes around. It's a lot of fun, you know, and, uh, you know, and hopefully... Uh, many, many more. But uh, if you eat like you're eating, anyway, uh, welcome back to the. Uh, you might, you show. might see him at the clinic. <laughs> yes, he. You know, I don't want to have to get Miles' medicine for you. A message from uh, Sleep Number. 
Quality sleep is important as we start a new year with new resolutions. It can help you reach the goals that are important to you by making a positive impact on your overall health and mental well-being. Resolve to get your bedroom sleep ready by clearing the clutter and removing electronics that may give off stimulating blue light. That's a big deal. Turn that set off before you're going to bed, folks. Please do that. Look for things that can help you track your sleep, like Sleep Number 360 smart beds. They've got Sleep IQ technology. can tell you how you're doing with your sleep, and it can show you how long, how well, and when you slept. And remember, to keep the thermostat a neutral 65 to 68 degrees at night, that's huge. Uh, That's ideal for sleep. My sleep number setting, uh, I'm going to bump it up to a 95 with the old Baccaroo and Carla. And that's almost a fully, uh, you know, it's like sleeping on a board. It's fantastic. Mm. It's great for your back. Carla remains a 65. Why choose proven quality sleep from sleep number? Because to be your best every day, you need proven quality sleep every night. Discover special offers now for a limited time at your local Sleep Number store or at sleepnumber.com slash TMOS. We thank you, Sleep Number. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. This is the homepage. This is the homepage, and we start today with uh, BuzzFeed. Buzz. I. Uh, BuzzFeed. <laughs> Stop it. BuzzFeed. <laughs> Recently asked their readers, I love this list. Okay. If there is a well liked celebrity that that they pers- personally can't stand, that every now and then BuzzFeed oh. will come up with a list that is just yeah. perfect. Here are some of the responses and see if you agree. Because I, I hit on a couple of these. All right. Because I like them, but I don't like them. Right. Chris Pratt. Uh, once he, this number one is Chris Pratt. Once he got into uh, the action star roles, something was missing. It seems like he's got a huge ego. This is written uh, sort of a a collection of comments from readers that write this. Okay. Reese Witherspoon. I don't know exactly why, but I just get these vibes from her that tell me she's probably not a very nice person. She's had well, a history in social media where she has been caught in uh, situations where she is not. You know, yeah, she got the DUI and yeah. she was kind of saying, "Do you know well, who I am?" That yeah. type of thing. Isn't right? she? She's she's a, a kingmaker now. She created her own production company, right? Well, she's also done phenomenal. I don't think you get where you get being nice all the time. Probably not. And she's one of my father's favorites, for what it's worth. Uh, Liam Hemsworth. uh, Somebody said, I'd hate to be stuck in a car with him for a long trip. (laughs) Mindy Kaling. This is my first first ding for this one right here. (laughs) Every character she plays or writes seems to be insufferable. I I love Mindy Kaling. Yeah, we're fans. She yeah, she's yeah, she, she. By the way, she's she's come out openly that uh, some of these weight loss drugs have helped her lose fifty pounds. And she's got a new show dropping today, the Velma. It's a cartoon that's a prequel to Scooby. Why don't you like Mindy? Oh wow, huh? Why don't you like Mindy? Because of everything that you guys just said. <laughs> Thank you very much. God, her, uh, her show right was so funny. so funny. It was. Uh, no, not to me. Uh, here we go. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, this oh, is shocker. he's up there. Yeah. Uh, he strikes me, a listener wrote, or a reader wrote, he strikes me as pretty holier than thou. I just get icky vibes from him. I don't like him either. I feel I that. always think it's like, he's just so totally in control. Aren't I, Mr. He cool? has the uh, vibe of someone that has never been told he can't do something. Right. You're great well, at he that. He was a doctor You're great at, at 11. That, that was yeah, a Doogie television Houser. show. Sorry. Uh, Miles Teller. He got into that fight. Uh, list, uh, this is a reader again. Right. He got into that fight in Hawaii, refused to get the COVID vaccine, and then, surprise, got COVID and shut down the set of a movie because of it. Also, the mustache doesn't help either. <laughs> he gives off frat bro vibes. Frat bro. I don't oh, agree with that one. His, I'm a Miles Yeah, his performance in like Top Gun it. did everything for me. Uh, here's the... Uh, we got uh, three more. Chris Evans. I think he has an amazing PR team working on his behalf. I don't know. I don't have an opinion about Chris No, he's Evans. vanilla really to me. Yeah. Known Coxman. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, there's just something about him that feels disingenuous. I totally agree. I like him. I enjoy it. What's that? I like him. I think it's funny that he buys into the disingenuousness. Well, he does, but it's a boy, oh boy. I mean, it's an act that does have a shelf life. I suppose. suppose. Everything he does, you know, from Deadpool to, uh, uh, you know, to the the phone company, to all of it. uh, it And I like Ryan Reynolds, but it just gets to a point where. Mm. I think, though, the Wrexham documentary on on uh, Hulu really opened my eyes up to see he's more real on that doc than anywhere else. 
Okay, you maybe I'll watch the cons- doc. You seem really concerned about the investment they're making and the money they're losing, which <laughs> okay. is something you can't fake. No, that's yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, he's that's pretty true. open about yes. his uh, greed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oprah, uh, completely fake, out of touch, the uh, readers say. And then Drake, his lyrics sound like the kind of stuff I wrote in my diary in fifth grade. Uh, and it's so full of red flags. He comes across as uh, as not a nice person. They're missing that's a very key celebrity on that list. Will exactly. Ferrell. Will Ferrell, yes. Yeah, I agree with that. You and I see eye to eye yes, on that always one, have, Absolutely. always have. Nick Cannon has enough kids. He won't miss two of them, right? Mariah what? Carey is reportedly <laughs> seeking primary custody of their twins, Moroccan and Monroe. Yeah. They're 11 years old. A source says, quote, she wants to put him on notice that he just he can't just flit in and out of their lives while he attends to his other children. And she wants legal standing as the twins' primary caregiver. The kids are already with uh, Mariah most of the time, so not a lot would change other than legal status. I'm on Team Mariah. Yeah, do they have one. their dad's last name, though? Is it Moroccan Cannon? Moroccan Cannon. That was something we used to do at American University. Yes, I, I remember. The deal. Right. Hey, well, hey where, <laughs> where's, uh, where's Skeet? Skeet's upstairs doing a Moroccan Cannon. Uh, guitar God Jeff Beck, one of my all-time oh, favorites. Oh, yeah. He died Tuesday after contracting bacterial meningitis. He was uh, 78 years old. Beck is a two-time member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Yardbirds and then as a solo artist. He also won seven Grammys. I like his fusion jazz stuff. Uh, He had some different music that was out there and an absolutely iconic guitarist. His career really took off when he succeeded Eric Clapton in the Yardbirds. That was all the way back in 1965. Mm -hmm. During his career, they released the hits Heart Full of Soul, I'm a Man, Shapes of Things, and Over, Under, Sideways, Down. After leaving the band in 66, he formed the Jeff Beck Group. That's where I got into him. Yes. Uh, because it had uh, Rod Stewart and Ronnie Wood in it. Whoa. And Ronnie Wood. You know, you look at Ron Wood and check out his uh, his bands and the influences he's been, you know, right up through the Rolling Stones. Ron Wood was like the driving force behind a group called Faces with Rod yes. Stewart. Mm-hmm. It's Ron Wood, Ron Wood, Ron Wood. He's just a, a little hit maker, and I don't think he gets nearly the credit he but should. Jeff I Beck really is don't. the one that brought Wood and Rod Stewart to America. Yeah. I mean, it was it yeah. was his invitation that launched them. Last year, Jeff Beck released an album with Johnny Depp called 18 and played on two songs on uh, Ozzy Osbourne's latest album, Patient Number 9. Uh, Depp reportedly visited Beck's bedside. So uh, mm. that's sad. Really, really talented guy and uh, made a lot of great Mike, music. Mike, do you see a couple songs? Stay With Me, Sweet ah. Lady Mary. Oh, mm. it was it. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Uh, uh, Jeff Beck was on, played guitar on Stay With Me? No, this is Ron Wood. Ron Wood. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. Ron Wood. Definitely. Ron yeah, Wood. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, go ahead. You've got. Give, give them to me again now okay, that I know you're talking about Ron Wood. Sweet Lady Mary, mm-hmm. Stay With Me, Spanish Boots. Rice Pudding, uh, Pretty Beat Up, Pool Hall Richard, Outlaws. Like a weekend at Rob Spiewak's house, to be perfect. <laughs> Ooh La La. <laughs> the Rice Pudding. It's Ooh La La, great song. Yeah. No Ooh use, La La. No Use in Crying, Miss Judy's Farm. Miss Judy. Oh, wow, Ron Wood, you rock. Just That's for a moment, so Gasoline Alley, and his latest hit is Black Limousine. That was for Rolling Stones. Yeah. Uh, Can I, really, really terrific. Just a quick story about Beck that's pretty cool is that he yep. did a lot of session work and he worked with Stevie Wonder on the album Talking Book, which is a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. And Stevie Wonder wanted Jeff Beck. He wrote Superstition and he wanted Jeff Beck to record it. And the record company would not let him give it away. They said, Stevie, this is a hit. You got to keep this for yourself. So instead, he gave him this song that we're listening to right now. It's called Because We've Ended as Lovers, which is kind of a sweet thing to say goodbye to but it's when you've got a stevie wonder composition being played by jeff beck you don't beat it turn it up a little bit they don't come along very often you're right kind of talent they're Mm -hmm. really really good so if you are somebody that doesn't know about the music of jeff beck uh honor him today i'll do it uh, by popping on some Jeff Beck music. Yeah. I uh, had a couple of albums growing up of Jeff Beck, and I I loved him. Uh, if you know any diehard Sierra Mist fans, you might want to stroll down the greeting card aisle and browse the sympathy section. Oh. Pepsi. 
has made Sierra Mist for 23 years, ever since they introduced it to replace Slice. I remember, you remember Slice. Slice, sure. 1999, they replaced it. But now they're ditching it for a new lemon lime soda. Look, they're trying to make Sprite, and they've been trying for years mm-hmm. to tackle Sprite. Uh, this is the new name. It's called Starry. Uh, and a Pepsi rep says it has higher citrus flavors that are true to fruit and more <laughs> aromatic. What the hell does true to fruit mean? That's, what does that it's, mean? It tested well, Mike. I'm looking, Starry. At, the, I'm looking at the art. It's very... Um, oh, let me see. It looks That's 90s. Very, it's hipster. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an energy drink. Okay. Yeah, yeah but I you know it. what? You can't touch Sprite. Sprite is great, and Sierra Mist is garbage, and Slice well, was garbage. Thought, who makes 7-Up? Seven no, make seven up. Seven up is independent. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. I think I it's Schweppes. I think Schweppes seven up. I got a quick story. Can really you find quick sidebar yeah. here. My old man yes. was in advertising for Snapple Etna. Group. Uh, ah, the Snapple, uh, Snapple Group. Group. Okay. Uh, so my father was in advertising at Etna Life and Casualty. So <laughs> with all the talk I do about insurance, yes, my father, thirty five years worked for big insurance. Yes. So, but he was in the marketing department. He was in the advertising department. And he worked in like a Mad Men situation with people in the, it was really the in-house ad agency for Aetna. And so they gave my father a send-off that was uh, worthy of like a Dean Martin roast. Yeah. It was hysterical. And they, I remember, God, I don't know if my sister has it or I have it. They gave him a book where they did artwork for his life and for his career and one of the pages in the artwork uh, said, Bill's advertising career was marked by several near misses. And they perfectly did a send-up of a 7-Up bottle that has 6-Up. <laughs> That's before something about Mary. That's, That's funny. That's long before. That's how smart those people were. Yeah. you know, 7-Up but- is a good soda, but Pepsi should just give up the citrus game. And at his retirement party for 25 years, they gave him... Uh, a recording. They recorded a uh, musical for him. And, say, and it was like, uh, our wild Irish Bill, her th- his thoughts were always nil. A heck of a guy <laughs> from Old Hill House High where they still, where, where they love him still, something like that. And then came the day when William walked, moved away to Old Holy Cross where his books gathered moss and he <laughs> learned how to pray. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember it. That's it was pretty so good. good. He was, uh, you know, my old man didn't get to the top of top top of uh, the corporate change because he promoted a lot of people around him, uh, and he was beloved in his office. So uh, you know, we got uh, we got the leftovers at home. That's the way it looks. Six like. up with that. Uh, I'm just kidding, Dad. Love mm. you. Fantastic. I still remember that. The FAA might know what caused them to ground every plane in the U.S. yesterday for the first time since 9/11. They think. One corrupted file was the culprit. Isn't that hard to believe? Oh, my God. If you're just catching up, they issued Brazzers. a nationwide order around 7.30. They <laughs> said it was say Brazzers? <laughs> yes, I did. did. You say Brazzers? I did. They issued a nationwide order around 7.30 a.m. Phil's looking at porn again. That plane will get uh, in fine. Look, these guys, they're not really sisters. We really got to get some windows stopped in all flights. <laughs> all flights from taking off. The issue was with their NOTAM system. That uh, lets them uh, relay to the pilot info to the pilots. NOTAM stands for Notice to Air Missions. Uh, people immediately thought it might have been a cyber attack. The White House said they didn't think it was, but they weren't ruling it out. Planes were taking off again an hour or two later, but it caused a massive backlog. By last night, over 1,300 flights had been canceled, and more than 10,000 had been delayed. The FAA is hoping uh, things get back to normal today, but they're not. <laughs> If you check the morning news, which I did, uh, still things screwed up around the country. So mm, we'll see what no, happens. Not so good. Yeah, Stay away from the so Brazzers. <laughs> Brazzers. Or Somebody the, surfing A corrupted porn. file. It could That's have been funny. Mike, the Bang <laughs> siblings. <laughs> siblings? Stop it. And now a little something, something. Yes, of course. Uh, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office in Missouri wants to actually pay you to get drunk so they can do field sobriety tests to update their training And uh, this is not a joke. The sheriff's office put out a request for local drinkers to uh, come to the station, not only get paid to drink, but get all the drinks for free. What's the catch? Anyone who shows up has to assist in uh, the deputy's field test for training before being driven home safely and not to jail. They promise. 
The training sessions will occur Tuesday through Thursday, and uh, a field sobriety check will take place, which includes volunteers taking a breathalyzer to determine their level of intoxication. Not a bad idea, according to most people, but to Rob Spiewak, <laughs> it's another missed job opportunity. <laughs> That's the way. There like, we go. Yeah. Everything happens to me. Time yeah, a year ago, you would have been fine with that. It would have been a okay. We got to take a break. Would have been the ringleader. We will. Uh, we'll come back with more fun and more thrills. You, ladies and gentlemen, are listening to the Mike O'Mara Show, and we're late because that's what happens. And I'm so happy about Miles the Fish. Good boy. Woo-hoo! It's a new bonus show for a new year, and things are already getting steamy. I just sometimes it's just I forget that we are similar in many ways, but we are different in many. And isn't that what makes the show work? It, it does. You don't care. No, I do care. I have gray hairs coming out of my f- ears, slowly aging me. How do you feel about zany women? We thought we heard garage doors banging real loud. You have been to have OnlyFans, them. Oscar? I have for research purposes, yes. Okay. There is a certain uh, niche audience that prefers the tank top. Are you talking about Bang Brothers? Yes. There they the are. This, since the pandemic, the sensations have not been sensational. Warm up your cold winter mm. days and nights with some rib tickling humor get a bonus show subscription and get laughing today you'll find it all at mike O'Mara show.com unbelievable unbelievable whatever your reason is for wanting to make a change noom weight is ready to help logged in today again noom weight uses psychology to help you understand your eating habits and learn how to make healthier choices every day Do you eat because you're bored or you can't pass up food when it's free? If the answer is yes, don't stress. Noom Weight can help you break the cycle. Losing weight starts with your brain, and Noom Weight's approach is based on scientific principles that help you better understand your relationship with food. Food. 95% of customers say Noom Weight is a good long-term solution. I love Noom Weight because it works. Oscar loves it. Carla loves it. I log in every day with my weight on Noom. Noom Weight. It lets you stay focused on what's important to you. Do that with Noom Weight's psychology-based approach. Sign up for your trial today at Noom.com slash TMOS. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash TMOS to sign up for your trial today and check out Noom's first ever book. It's called The Noom Mindset. That's a deep dive into the psychology of behavior change. Available now wherever books are sold. Okay, so I don't know if how, how, how loud it is in the back. Right there, we hear, you can hear, I hear a little ambient noise. Crazy. Yeah, could be worse. I talked about this a little bit yesterday with uh, the guys that I am planning on uh, moving the studio into the garage <laughs> because, if you want to know, I'm a success. It is so loud right now here. No, it's, it's like vibrating. I that's not more. indicative of success and not success. I did ask. I'm Mike. just kidding. Yeah. yeah. In your yeah, dream scenario, what does this room really become for you? Yeah, I uh, I'll have more elbow room. I will be able to utilize. I don't only use this studio for the show. I use it for uh, my music room as well mm-hmm. uh, because we've got a piano and a set of drums in here, and it's just very cramped in this uh, in this room. It will not be when we move it. We never ever have our cars in the garage down here we just don't and uh we're not the only ones that have these little houses down uh, in little communities where they all look the same uh that have converted their garage yeah. into something like this so i was thinking I'm looking like forward to when it. you say music room will you actually put in some speakers so you could listen to music oh i'll put stuff in yeah i mean okay. it's gonna be a slow thing the first priority is to get uh the room soundproofed and to uh, to move my studio in there. But I have to tell you this. What I've been doing over the last week is doing a little dive on uh, home garage build-outs. Okay. You know, where people want to make it into a room. YouTube is... Uh, you know, tremendous resource for DIY. I think if you're doing that type of thing, you can really find some insight. But unfortunately, sometimes to get to valuable information, you have to... You have to wade through. It's uh, if it's not bad, guys, I'll shut up and I'll stop. Yeah. No, you're fine. You you have to wade through a parade of egomaniacs, the likes of which Hollywood would not offer us. You have to get a guy that I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think dust is coming through the floorboards. He's allergic really to do. background noise. Yeah, yeah. Um, I try to get uh, really get narrow with it and say uh, how to convert a garage into a uh, home studio, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. There are some of these videos where these d bags <laughs> like to hear the sound of their own voice, and you think we digress on this show? 
This is our job, to come in for 90 minutes a day and flap our gums. But when I'm going to a video and you're uh, Harry the Helper, and you're going to put up a video based on showing people how to do things, I don't want to hear about the fact that you recently moved uh, to uh, five different houses. I don't need your effing life story. I don't need uh, sidebars about your world. I don't care about you. I care about you showing me how to do the thing. And there are fabulous ones out there, usually by the higher intellect guys, yeah. right. that get right to it. Let the work speak have, for itself. Precisely. Right. There, there are videos with production values that show you exact. But most of them are, uh, uh, hey, you guys. They all start like that. Hey, you guys. Welcome. Thanks. And uh, by the way, I also don't need your pitch to subscribe uh, and ring the bell and do all that BS. By the way, something you don't hear me do. I just assume if you like it, you're going to like it. Right. That's what we do on this show. Uh, you know, but... It just drives me nuts trying to find stuff out, trying to get some information, trying to know what to do because I do want to kind of halfway when I, DIY this. When That's I why. picture, why the, are you looking like that? You're looking smug. Why are you looking <sighs> smug over there? You're not doing anything. You've got people doing the work for you in the garage as we speak. Well, the garage floor doesn't have anything to do with the studio per se. The garage floor is simply getting that done. That's a project. You're going to hang a curtain. Woe is me. That's a lot of work. That's crazy. I'm sorry. No, no I, I don't sneeze. Know. Sorry, yes, Mike. now you're allergic. Yes. To, what are you talking about? Well, first of all, you two are coming down here. Correct. Because I'm not doing anything we because I won't We're do driving right. together. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> you don't have to drive, but I want you we'll to fly. come down in mid to late Copter. February and get this thing you know, help get me to the get chopper. it done. Yes. Because Oscar's built, how many studios have you built total? No less than 10. 10. Right. right. Okay. And you've been there right alongside him. For many of, the time, of them. Right? Yeah. 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 So I just, I need. If we come help. down, we don't want you there while we're doing it. This is, this is key. Yeah. Yeah, that's that that hasn't changed. All right, changed you in know what? Years. I'll give you that. Yeah. I'll give you that. I you hate come that. up here, we go down there. Yeah. No. Oh, no. that would be good. Uh, yeah. You and Pony up here, <laughs> like trading spaces. Exactly. Look, Pony can be does, Paige this Davis. This doesn't have to be more. This does not have to be more than two days. Correct? No, I wouldn't think so. No, no, no more than that. Okay. Three, so, maybe yeah, four, uh, but no more than five. We're gonna need you, your voice, to test once we calibrate. And yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I will have input as to where I think things should go. Right. And uh, that's it. But as for, why are you looking the way you're looking? You're uh, just looking so negative. You're looking so negative right now. I, for, I, it, we had a long conversation. You don't think you air. have to, you don't think I have to get you to come down? No, I want to come down because I want it to be done right, or else you're just going to bitch about it for a year because it's not well, done. Well, I think the way I've done pretty be. well on my own for 13 you years. You had a meltdown before the show yesterday because of the lighting. So we're still working on things, right? It wasn't a meltdown. I'm just trying to do things right. I'm always trying to improve. I I'm 63. That. You know how many people in my job at 63 are just going, uh, Welcome to the Michael Berry Hans show. Zimmer is just getting go. started. He's 65. Who's that who? Hans Zimmer. Mike, another comparison between you and composing legend Great Hans Zimmer. Great composer Hans Zimmer. Yes. yes. Like the I, season of just I watched started. that sixty minutes, yes. Yes. and I and I identified yeah. with it. Mm. Because I, I, if I you handed me an opportunity tomorrow to do something that was special, I would do it. And I always want to make this better. Yeah. I want to make it look as good as it looks up in Washington. And you know, I you I'm excited about this. You but your it. smugness is. I, I mean, I'm I'm a little might, smug because because we had a conversation yesterday afternoon. Yeah. And a lot of that went like this. Okay. Mike. What? What is your dream scenario for the studio? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm having this guy come over and he's going to do this work. And I'm having some other guy come over and he's going to do this work. And then some, the floor people are coming tomorrow. And the AC comes in in two weeks, something like that. But all of this was having I'll people do I'll ask you things. a question. I'll ask you yes. a question. What is your dream scenario for the studio down here? What would you like I, I to would say? love you. You got a huge palette out there. I you would love you to have a space that would allow for multiple guests to come in. All right, I think I know where you're where you're at with this. You wouldn't mind the idea of I think Oscar wants me to go uh, without just a console, wants maybe a round table situation. I see. Yeah. Yeah, but something that befits a, you know your broadcasting needs. And it doesn't yeah. have to be custom. We can figure out what it is. I just 
Nothing I, folding, Mike. No, uh, your son's growing up at such a rapid pace. Wouldn't you want him just to, to sit down and then you hit a button and boom, he's yes. on the show? Yeah. Yes. Right? Thousand percent. Carla a is thousand eye percent. candy yes. for days. She, she gets more yes. views than anybody else. Yes, it's true. Absolutely. I want her to sit down instead of like kind of look over your mm-hmm. shoulder. Like the well, but, upgrade, but, but, yeah, upgrade. If we're pulling back the curtain yeah. here, the camera cost to have identical cameras yes. would be prohibitive for Correct. That, yeah, but, right? but, because but we can do it with other less expensive cameras? No, we could do it. We have the equipment here to do it. Like there's a possi- It's just a matter of... Just- I don't think I need more than one extra camera down here. I agree. We can do right? all of this. Mm-hmm. One shot or a it's, two it's, shot. It's not, it's not cost prohibitive. It's what you want your vision to be. And your vision as of yesterday was, I just want this table in the garage. Don't make it complicated, Oscar. Um. Okay. All right, so that's why the look you're giving. Yeah. When, by the way, this is real. Yeah. We are doing this for but real. But there's nothing real wrong with simple show. as long as it's effective and does the job. It doesn't have yeah, to have I, a lot I, of bells like, and whistles. I love, I love, 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 love Oscar's idea of making it uh, more of a multi-person studio. Yeah. Yes. I love that, yeah. and I got the room for it. Yes, yeah, because we do have that, the space. Yeah, I've got when the I space said, hey, for that. Let me look at that. He was, we're FaceTiming. Okay. He showed me some depth the day before. And I was like, oh, like you have the depth now for a studio. Sure. Um, for like the proper lighting, et cetera. And he's like, yeah, but I just want to put a little curtain up here in front of the water heater, and then All I'm right. just going to shoot it. All right. Well, you know what? I, I fa- Did I not FaceTime you with the, you uh, with the you interior? Yes. Mm-hmm. Does it not have the potential it for that? It does a lot. Of, it's, a, it's fantastic. That's why I asked and you, what is your dream scenario? Then the dream scenario would be, ju- I would love to have an ability. And when you just said it the way you said it, which is little Michael runs in and I hit a button instead of, you know, literally uh, grabbing my son yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. making Cir- him lean against Soleil, my neck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I just, I valid. Thought, that's great. <laughs> valid right. comparison. I believe we've become. So. Uh, I'm pumped then. That that's oh, if you're pumped, go ahead. Yeah, yes, you, you take it over. We're gonna take a break here, and uh, we will come Nikki back. Nikki is uh, next. Nikki, Nikki yes. Diamond. Yes, Nikki, Nikki Diamond. Uh, playoff football. My yes. Yes. are in the hunt, mm. and we'll have Nikki with uh, all the details coming up right after this. I'm so excited, and I, Oscar and I have the same vision. That'll be really respectful. 2020. Poker table. <laughs> Power 95. Twitch patrol lines are open. Hi, who's this? Uh, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Do I know you? Yes, you do. Uh, okay. Is this Jim Amato? No. Have I had fun with you within the past two months? Yes. Okay, that cuts it down to a thousand. Are you Rick Scope? No. Are you Jolene White? No. Uh, uh, are you Linda Hart? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm waiting for you to get tickets to the Mike O'Mara Live Show in New Orleans on April 15th at 8 p.m. at the House Blues. Tickets are on sale to the general public on November 1st. Because of you, I'll be in New Orleans. Take your bike, fly, take the train, drive, and uh, join us uh, April 15th. We're going to be in New Orleans, Louisiana for TMOS Live. It's going to be a fabulous weekend of fun. We're going to be wandering around and uh, hanging out with people. We're going to be doing a live show on Saturday night at the House of Blues. And uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, meet up with old friends after what really has been too long Very for long. people to get together and uh, have a good time. We've got a limited number of tickets that mm-hmm. are available. Uh, those will uh, usually right around the uh, one-month mark out. That's when they, uh, they fly. But there's so few left that we can't guarantee yeah, you're going to get them. I yeah, told so. uh, Carrie... I was texting with your wife. Yes. And she's like, um... What do you think of that new outfit? (laughs) (laughs) Kidding. No, I said... She she mentioned she was waiting to get a couple more tickets for uh, Julie and her boyfriend. Right. I said, get on it. Yeah. Can't guarantee you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got to do it. Uh, Get your tickets today for TMOS Live in New Orleans. April 15th. That's a Saturday. We're going to be rolling into town that weekend and be there all weekend long. Maybe Nutsy the Squirrel will stop by. Very exciting. <laughs> Love to see it. Hey, if he comes, he brings the uniform. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, whether it's uh, quick errands to outdoor adventures, electric e-bikes will transform how you get around. They cost way less than the competition. With quality, feature-filled models financed as low as $133 per month, you can go up to 45 miles on one charge and reach up to 28 miles per hour with the powerful 500-watt motor, which is now quieter with more torque. For more power with less noise. Plus, I can't look at Nikki when I'm going to do my commercial. <laughs> Plus, electric e bikes are foldable and ship free, fully assembled. You'll be on the road in no time. A stronger rear rack 
Supports nice. everything you need for day-to-day <laughs> rides or longer trips. Customize your ride with new accessories <laughs> like the Elite Headlight or a passenger package that can hold riders up to 150 pounds. Oscar is all over the district. He Love loves it. it. Plus, no parking fees. Get out there and make this year your most adventurous one yet with Electric E-Bikes. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more. That's L-E-C-T-R-I-C, ebikes.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from a winter wonderland, it appears to be. Uh, let's bring uh, the man in who looks like he's coming to us from the Olympic Village. Uh, <laughs> Nikki, how are you? And uh, you look like you're you're in a winter wonderland, my friend. Well, Mikey, I'm in Minneapolis to watch oh. the New York football giants <laughs> take on those evil Vikings. Yeah. Uh, my New Year's resolutions this year, fellas, more torque. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sounds like a personal issue. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what uh, that means, Nikki. but I'm um, wow. sure like any goal I said, I'll yeah. get there. Uh, I'm trying to hear you, Nikki, as the uh, as my garage is being destroyed next door to me here. I have to ask you this. Uh, this season has been uh, an unusual one, right? There have been move, teams that have moved, a la the Giants, that no one predicted would. Nobody thought the Giants would make it to the playoffs this year. And no. uh, nobody thought that uh, Kirk Cousins would be uh, flirting with the elite in uh, NFL quarterbacks. Uh, it's gonna. It's been a fun season, I think. It's been a fun season. Uh, the Jacksonville's a surprise. The Giants are surprised. But in a lot of ways, it's still the Blue Bloods. It's, it's the Bills, the Chiefs, yep. the Bengals, the Ravens, Bengals. the Cowboys, <laughs> the Eagles. Right. Oh, Rams, oh, the 49ers. But, hey, the cream will rise to the top, to the crop, to the top. Yes, Kirk Cousins, no creaming, no rising, no top. Oh, are you getting right into it? Because I, no, that, of course, we'll, is... We'll save that for the end, but yes. Oh, continue. good, okay. Oh, continue continue with your questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does the cold weather make you sleepy, Nick? <laughs> Big weekend. It does make me very sleepy, yes. The time changes, the constantly <laughs> moving around, yes. Yeah. If somebody, I mean, if somebody it, called me several times this morning, I may not have answered it. That, no I understand. Uh, uh, we understand you are still running for the law I, uh, or for your creditors. Uh, that you know, it just seems like just yesterday I was looking at a picture of you on a beach in Hawaii. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's, it's, crazy. it's crazy. I get around. I'm a bit of a glow mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you nut. Let's dive right into it. Go ahead, Nikki. What do you got for us? We'll start Saturday after in the first day. The Niners versus the Seahawks. They played twice already. Niners have beat them easily twice. Brock Purdy, baby. Rock out with your Brock out. The Niners roll. Get out of here, Seattle. And then Chargers, Jaguars, two of the young stud quarterbacks. I say the Chargers are 3-0 on the road in the wild card round in their history. They make it 4-0, baby. Take wow. the Chargers. Okay. How about the Bills? Sunday, 1 p.m. Dolphins, no Tua, no chance. Skyler no Thompson, that's your guy. Skyler, they're going to go breaking bad on you, Skyler. You're going down, baby. Bill's wrong, okay? Can't argue How with that about one, the Bengals and the Ravens mm. Sunday night? Yes, sorry, Bermuda boy, but your fantasy player of the week, the Carla, is none other than Glow Burrow, baby. Yes, Glow he's going to hold on. You got no chance, Ravens. Both first half, blowout second half. Adios, see ya. All right. Wow. Okay. Monday night, Cowboys, Buccaneers, Cowboys. You get destroyed by the Commanders. Sam, who? What the heck happened last week? Mm. Cowboys, good after a loss. They bounce back. They beat Tom Brady and the Tim Bay Buccaneers. But hey, Saturday, Sunday afternoon, the Giants. Yes. I mean, the Twin Cities. Hey, Mike, you ever have a threesome in the Twin Cities with two twins? <laughs> Me neither, but it sounds great. Oh, my God. Bucket list. Put that on the bucket list, baby. All right. The Vikings, you're taking on the Giants. You got no chance, baby. They're going to go into Minnesota. They're going to beat them straight up in, in honor of Prince. Let's go crazy, baby. Give me love We're going to beat your ass. I'm telling you, Vikings, they're going down. Put their hands up, Giants! Let's go crazy, Giants! Wow! <laughs> All right, thank you. He's Here gone. He said and glow then, crazy. A, yes. Oh god, they're, they're gonna lose. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hey Mike, 
<laughs> you have to let Terrible. them know. Seems like oh, a, yeah. a good time to say that Nikki Diamond says if you want to laugh, you can yes. bet on McGoobies. McGoobies Joke yes. House, Rob. Yes, the smart money is on David Keckner and Rob Mayer for the best stand-up and office trivia with Todd Packer, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th at McGoobies in Timonium, Maryland, hon. Tickets available at McGoobiesJokeHouse.com. All sales are final. 4.30 on uh, Sunday afternoon. Don't call me. I was gonna, I'll call me. you. I'll, I'll call, call you at about 5 o'clock. That'd be good, uh, right? After the game's over, text text it will. But, uh, <laughs> you know, who knows? It's good. Look, I think it's one of the most competitive games in the playoffs right now uh, for a team that was nothing and a team that's been uh, in the elite all season long. We'll see what and happens. And one, on one of the best weekends for football all year. 100%. It's we'll just to all it. good. All good. It's going to be great. We are super late. We're going to uh, take a break right now. When we come back, it's the Town of Sound. Sound Town. Uh, a wonderful show. And, of course, as the show winds down, yes, now the Jack Hammering has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you, really, my brain is vibrating. You can't hear it. Thank brain. you. We'll be right back with uh, more fun and more thrills. Uh, a threesome in the Twin Cities. <laughs> nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> Some more downtime. That's the house. And the whole fraternity system is guilty. <laughs> Isn't that an indictment, indictment of our educational, educational systems in general? We're not going to sit here and listen to you bad mouth the United States of America. Now, the, the Greek the, the, letters the, the, point, do fraternity. you know what the symbol is for the fraternity? Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Yeah, I know the name of the fraternity, but I don't know what the letters are that correspond to. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, so. <laughs> I didn't know. I think I don't. I can't tell you whether I think I knew or not. Take it from Vaughn Leibowitz and pledge the funniest fraternity on campus. It's O'Mara House. Fatal Otis Caesar! Get a TMOS bonus show subscription by clicking the link at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Sign up today with Liberty and Fraternity for All. Amen. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. I have a question for you. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Do not press that button, Michael. Do not press that button. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? I'll press the button after the commercial's over. I know what button you're going to press. (laughs) (laughs) Is it checking up on your credit score? Ha-ha! I didn't think so! (laughs) 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 At at Chime, that's exactly what they do. With their secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card, you can start to build credit with your own money. Their members see an increase of 30 points on average, all of this with no annual fees, no large security deposits or any credit checks to apply. So, start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash TMOS. That's Chime.com slash TMOS. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank N.A. Pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime Checking Account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the Secure Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact score may vary, and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Accepted money pass ATMs in the 7-Eleven or any all-point or Visa Plus Alliance ATFs. <sighs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. I do ask that question occasionally. Uh, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, I have to hit You have a stager as well, yeah. I, I'm yeah. so very sound sorry. Town, sound, 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 sound. We call this stereophonic sound. Sound town. It takes seven seconds. Mike, do mm-hmm. you drink? I know you drink religiously you drink the liquid IV. I drink. Yeah, and you drink everything. Do you drink tea? Not anymore. Not as much. I drink uh, I drink liquid IV almost exclusively or regular water. This surprised me. And sometimes me. Mio. Sometimes a little Mio. 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 <laughs> this <laughs> surprised me <laughs> about tea bags that... <laughs> tea <laughs> bags, Mike. We're like, seriously, <laughs> when you do that and I do that, and we laugh when you just say that. It makes me realize that my son is in third grade. Yes. We have not evolved past a third grade we level. We have not. When it comes to humor, you say tea bag tea on bag. a radio program sure. immediately. You know. Well, Mike, did you know that tea bags on average have 400 types of bug DNA in them? Did you know that when you analyze a typical tea bag, you can find the DNA of 400 different types of insects? And this DNA is usually. Fairly fragile, easily destroyed by ultraviolet and by getting washed away by the rain, but it does survive when the conditions are dark and dry, as inside a tea bag. Tea fields are a hive of biodiverse tea. 
So mm. think about that the next time you're brewing up some tea. Well, no. I mean, it's not like parts of insects. It is yeah. insects that walk over the leaves. Sure. That's absolutely going to happen. A lot of bugs, that. though, man. 400 yeah, bugs. Yeah, this is true. But, I mean, uh, we're, we have bugs on us. Don't we? Yeah. Don't we all have uh, some dust of us mites have on us? Or bugs yeah. in us, like Miles. Well, and then DNA yeah. is just like it's amino acids, right? It's the same stuff that's in your cells. It doesn't matter if it's from bugs or bananas or anything. It's the same stuff. That's Pony's pickup line, by the way. Bugs or uh, bananas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, Pony will go into any watering hole in the Northern Virginia (laughs) area, sit down next to a beautiful woman and say, let me ask you something, (laughs) bugs or bananas? They never know what it means, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just such a great line. On your hinge profile. Let me do my DNA thing. (laughs) Uh, Mike, uh, I love it when Oscar sends me stuff from Twitter because it's, I'm I'm not Twitter, I'm sorry, TikTok, because it's always compelling. Don Cheadle, I think we can all agree, is an amazing actor, and he's had an amazing string of movies dating yep. back many years. He was given not much time to say whether or not he wanted to be a part of the Marvel Universe. I was at my kid's laser tag <laughs> birthday party, and they called me and said, this is what's happening. Um, we're giving you the offer. If you don't say yes, we're going to the next person. This is has to be. This is going to happen very fast. So they said, "Why don't you go ahead and take an hour and decide if you want to do it?" I said, it's, "It was a six movie deal." I was like, "In an hour, I have to decide." Like, what are the other movies? They're like, "It's going to be these Avengers. It's going to be these many Iron Men. This is what it is." So you kind of have to say yes or no if you're in or out. I'm like, what's the trajectory of the character going to be? Well, was it? they're like, "We can't. We don't know any of that." But. This is what it is. So you've got an hour. I said, I'm at my kid's laser tag birthday party. They're like, oh, take two hours. Take two hours. So, <laughs> so we played laser tag for two hours, and I was talking to my wife, and we just kind of thought about it and talked to my agent and tried to get as much information as we could, and we just took a flyer and said, okay, we'll do it. Yeah, he took you the know, job. He did okay with it, If you're going to ask too. a guy to be in a Marvel franchise, I would say there are worse places he could be than playing laser tag. Yeah, right? That's the true. The mindset would yes. be right for that. Yeah. Right? Way to go. Good move, Don Cheadle. Certainly good for your wallet. He right? doesn't. He hasn't made a lot of missteps. I was thinking about his career. He's been in a lot of good stuff. Well, Dating- I don't exactly think that's a Rubik's Cube of a career decision to uh, no, accept but, an offer from uh, Marvel. But right? however, you take he that did out it of when, it. Before the, before it, it, it was, was huge. a massive hit. Yeah. So well, there's a little bit of a dice yeah. roll, I suppose. Just, just Iron Man was out. Mm-hmm. I would think if you're an actor and you're still in good shape and you can run around and do stuff, yeah. uh, you know, do the physical work, I think it'd be a blast. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? Why not? Get, you know, do get other, some of that you Spider-Man do independent money. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> get, some get some Spidey money. Spidey Amen, money. brother. My, right. uh, I'll close with this. A flight attendant has a TikTok channel that I was popping around on. And, for example, she offers some opinions. Did you know that if you're in the middle seat, she feels you get both armrests automatically? Ooh. She also you know, says she can feel that all she wants, but the three hundred guy, you know, three hundred pound <laughs> guy next to me. But she also has some tips on personal hygiene. If you see someone put their nasty foot right here where you're sitting, tell them to get their foot off. It's gross. Second, don't walk around the airplane without your shoes. Oh, oh. it's so gross. I understand sitting and taking it off still. That's a little, uh, but walking around the airplane, guys, don't do it. I had someone clipping their fingernails and it was like, bing, bing. Ah. Don't do personal hygiene on the aircraft. Painting your fingernails, awful. And lastly, please take a shower before you get on the plane. There's nothing worse than sitting in a seat and you're sitting next to someone who has B.O. You know, she's all Amen. that stuff is true. Um, I do remember the one flight when we were taking the shuttle to and from New York. I sat next to a guy who was passing a tapeworm. It's the worst. <laughs> that's all there I got go. for you today. Full circle, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That's the way that goes. Amen, baby. Uh, you know what? On an airplane, put your effing feet away yes i don't want to see them don't take your shoes off i don't think they should give yeah. slippers to people f that like their all explosives right? with the shoes we have they're practically slippers anyway all right and by the way when i get on a plane the first thing i do is no that's not true uh we gotta get out you do that all back. the time <laughs> uh, i gotta go see the rubble in my garage right now and uh oscar <laughs> Let's just keep the lines of communication yeah. open because I'm ready. I'm ready for your vision. My fingers are got crossed. A good vision. Look, yeah, yeah. Get gonna, this done the right good. way. Yes. <laughs> your fingers are good. You know what? You smuggler. Uh, we got to get out of here uh, for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. The 
This is Michael Vera. <laughs> <laughs> Say it so long, everybody. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Marabona Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara Radio Entertainment. Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. From the four corners I of the World I Wide told Web. You never to interrupt me while I'm working. The man said if you didn't leave, we bury you here. Fine, we'll leave. I don't want. Man said, "If you didn't leave, the uh, closing of the show is a uh, Mike O'Mara production. And uh, tomorrow, at the beginning of our bonus show, I'm going to give Mike a talking to. Uh, that's it. We have to get the, out of here. I usually don't bail. Usually, I might, I've stopped talking by this point, but uh, I certainly love the music. So, anyway, everybody, have a fabulous day. Bye bye. <laughs>